Hi everybody, this is a light language transmission for the uh, new moon in Aries, apparently the most powerful new moon this year. I um, had a lot of signs and information coming in about this being, you know, a really powerful new beginning and a really releasing of the old, but also with like a portal coming in potentially over the ocean been um, corroborating my stories with other light workers and they're having the same kind of multi-dimensional visions and dreams about um, basically moving up to the next level of our gifts and of the ascension and um, basically miracles happening but also I've had multiple multifaceted um, understandings of, of that some of us are going to be able to see what's not visible um, and what's been hidden but also almost like the mechanics behind everything that's going on um, which then enables us to master it ourselves so I'm, I'm um, in so many ways it's like you're looking at one thing but the information comes in um, to what's going on behind the scenes that you can't see behind the scenes um, which sheds a whole different light on it and not only what's behind the scenes but every aspect of that like why that's happening how it's happening um, what the geometries involved in that are these are the kinds of things that um, that I'm seeing around the potential of this this new moon at the moment um, and so my intention was to pull some cards to support what's going on um, because I've also been getting a lot of information about twin flame unions coming together as part of the Ascension landing. So I've been doing a um, series on the Ascension cards that I um, produced around 2012, which was, a, as you all know, a big um, turning point in the Ascension. Um, and the one for today is one where the... 5D reality lands into 3D reality and how it's been preparing for that by projecting its energies into this dimension for some time um, and the crystals visible on the earth how they match up with the 5D as it lands in and then the uh, crystals on the beach and these paintings always occur in stages so the first lot was uh, two crystals on the beach um, that were left there in previous lifetimes that are your personal crystals that you can go and collect now because the the energies of the earth have ascended enough. Um, and then the next stage um, was the intangible 5D becoming even more tangible and closer to the earth and then the twin flames crystals also appear on the beach beside yours. So you both now can go and collect them. So this has coincided also with um, a, another painting that was done around a similar time called Twin Spirits um, Calling to be Upgraded Now. And in that painting, I was painting a watery couple, a mermaid couple, who were twin spirits, who um, they were very, very watery. So... I had painted blue underneath their skin to show that they're like watery creatures, blue-blooded. Um, and they've started to become warm-blooded. They've started getting orange tones in their skin um, and they've become more human, so less fishy-looking and more human-looking. Um, it's like they've got legs, but I'm not painting them with legs, so I'm leaving them with tails to see their origins. Um, and that one is coming up as well today um, to to show the balancing um, and the unification of the twin flames. So the feminine twin flame has come first. She has spent, um, she has embodied her spirit here and her knowing and her consciousness here in a, a much stronger way um, and had the courage to be in her soul and follow her heart for a lot longer and the masculine has had a different kind of role and um, I'm not talking about gender I'm talking about the energies of the divine feminine divine masculine um, so the 
divine feminine has been coming in and clearing her wounds for a long time the wounded feminine to really embody the divine feminine but there has in the last few weeks been a really big change in the masculine as he's worked through um, very very dense wounded masculine um, patternings and traumas um, and he's starting to embody now and he's starting to become more conscious of the of his own divine masculine and from there being able to see the divine feminine which means they can come together so there is a gap bridging so this atlantis portal is about the the gap being bridged between the dimensions um and as that happens then the gap is bridged between the twin flames so divine union can actually be embodied fully on this planet so i was I didn't know that this is what the reading was going to be about so much, the twin flames. I thought it was going to be more about new beginnings and the new gifts coming in. But when I pulled the spread, it was all about the divine union. So as you can see, we've got the the queen of water came out first. um, And she's balanced on the other side by the king of water. So the king, queen of cups or um, of love, of emotion, of the soul, really. Um, and then in the middle is the two of water, which is the relating, the coming together. Crowning that above that is new beginnings, new opportunities, the ace of water, the start of the relating, the start of the divine love coming in. Um, and at the base of it is the emperor. Um, the emperor is Aries, and we're in the Aries new moon, and it's a very masculine sign. It's very... Um, solid, very action oriented, very authoritarian, not so much heart and soul, it's more the physical and four is this foundational number, it's the stable number and this is a, a major arcana, it's a very powerful card of stability, also of operating from the masculine mindset which is really where we've been coming from, that is the foundation here on earth and I'm just being reminded that um, our patriarch here in England has um, recently um, passed over a couple of days ago which is extremely sad as he was a very loved um, very loving um, man who supported the Queen beautifully um, and it feels like a really big turning point um, um, and of course he embodies in his energy he was almost a hundred so that's a hundred years of um the history of this country um so with that um now being grieved and released there's also an opportunity of a new kind of masculinity coming in um whilst honoring how important he was and how beautiful he, his energy was for um, the country and the planet. Um, there's also a moving forward into a new form of masculinity um, that's going to be holding the space for the country um, and, you know, how that indirectly affects the, the whole world. Um, and this is coming from a balance, a co-creation of masculine and feminine um, divine union coming in from above through the balance of masculine and feminine the unity of masculine and feminine down into those masculine structures which which form the foundation so um, this heart in hands also came in um, as wanting to contribute to the energy this is a blue calcite so blue is throat um, and it's expressing the heart, expressing the divine heart, divine love, compassion, care, empathy in the hands, offering it. Um, so this, again, is a coming together of hearts, coming together of compassion, of kindness, of unity, consciousness, of co-creation. And um, I've sprayed the balance spray. Um, which is purple and white clover, honeysuckle and wild rose. Um, these are English flower essences. So I'm going to just spray it again. I hope you can feel it. 
over this reading before we do the light language. And then I feel to um, do a video recording of some light language of the partially upgraded version where we're at now, where the energy's at now with the uh, Twin Spirits painting. Okay, I can feel the energy dropping in now. It's dropping in through the Ace of Water. <sighs> really feeling that activating the heart, um, the, the two hemispheres of the brain, especially the temporal lobes down through the sacrum, the lower spine, down through the tailbone, I'm feeling it also going into the emperor. So the emperor is forming the base chakra here. So I'm seeing how the king is reaching for that um that fish. But I wanted to say horse there. Um and, and the horse is um to me represents the twin flame as I've done a pair of twin flame horses I've painted them I need to bring that in as well but um, it, it's the reaching for it's the action but the action coming from a heart space so the emperor is also action but coming from a centered mind um, and the king of water is a, the action coming from the heart the connecting is reaching to connect with the fish and obviously you can extend that to the card next to it which is the two of water which is the, the fish the counterpart it represents the connecting the co-creation with the counterpart and I'm seeing her with her eyes closed and her little shell looking like a um, third eye pointing up towards the ace of water. So she sees the way forward. She sees the new coming. She's holding a meditative healing space. She's holding space for the whole thing. Um, th these all really remind me of the Twin Spirits painting because there are pearls in it. Like there's pearls in the um, ace of water. The seahorse is holding the pearl. And in the King of Water, um, there's pearls. There's quite a lot of pearls in his hair um, and surrounding him. And um, in in my painting, she has pearls all through her hair. Um, and her hair has grown extremely long from experience that she's had in this world, in the multi-dimensions. Also, the seahorse um, in my painting that's in the ace of water card she holds on her thymus which is her soul seat which is the place we hold our desire to fulfill our life's purpose so as she envisions her life's purpose that she feels and she knows she knows this is what she's here for she knows this is what her higher gifts are coming in for her to do um, that's now coming up as as the the action that she's taking and in doing that he was reaching for her and reaching for that unity because um, their their soul work is a co-creation it's together and they've always been working together but less consciously it's been synchronous behind the scenes um, but what's going on behind the scenes is now going to be conscious is what I have been being shown um, and as it becomes conscious, action is taken, but guided action, divine action, heartfelt action, soul-led action in the real world. Okay, so that is that part of it. Um, and I felt to bring in some related paintings now to um, work with this to help activate it so we'll just move over to video now so we're still just grounding that um energy um into the consciousness of the emperor um which is the 
existing masculine structures, existing masculine minds that uh, we're bringing divine love into that and soul purpose into that. Look at that, cool, 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 cool. And as we do that, um, I want to bring in this painting. Um, this painting is called Play. Um, and it's about not working too hard. It's about tempering that masculine work, 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 um, kind of what's my place in the physical world? How do I provide? How do I protect what's important to me? How do I grow financially? Um, all the very masculine um, roles, the masculine survival roles that have come to um, become his identity when he's coming from a mindset and he's coming from a place of what he's been taught um, and how he's been taught to survive in existing structures, culture um, and circumstances. Um, and this is about leaving that behind and playing, playing with your partner. It's almost like retiring, um, coming to a point where that's all done and you can find your identity from play and from joy and who you are underneath that responsibility. It's shirking the responsibility and the identity that goes with that holding that um, emperor role really um, and being able to play. This is a couple um, of turtles playing in the ocean. So just receive the codes from that. Um, and then this is the double barrel wave. So it's the twin, the twin waves. Um, it's the wave within the wave, but which are also separate waves. Um, they've got um, some angels orchestrating them. It's called symphony. There is a full activation for this card. That's a very powerful activation actually. Took me a few days to integrate. Um, I will link that below. And then we've got <clears throat> the dolphins who are raising all of that to a higher vibration. They're closing the bridge, they're closing the gap between the 3D and the 5D reality. They're crossing the rainbow bridge. It's a real heart activation and soul seat activation, which is an activation of the desire to bring your life's purpose into physical reality. This is the um, Twin Spirits painting, which is currently being upgraded. This is before the upgrade. So we're focusing on the pearls in her hair, the blue bloodedness, which is the, um, funny, that's royalty, isn't it? Um, but the, the origins, the watery origins, the soul origins, the yet unmanifest in physical reality, yet more manifest within her. She's more human there, more um, warm blooded than him at that point. Um, the the seahorse there. And the seahorse is where the masculine um, looks after the children. He's the one that tends the children, looks after them. Um, so there's really, with her, a connection to the role of the masculine. She's really connected and she holds it in her um, soul, the, the, his role in her life. He's holding the turtle there, which is um, rebirth into that higher masculine, divine masculine that he was always destined to be. Let's bring this energy in again. The heart in the hand, the offering of the heart, and we just move to the, um, the hands there, the holding hands. Okay, I'm going to move into the updated painting now. This 
So they've undergone quite a lot of changes. The masculine's become embodied, he's grown up, his um, body's filled out, his um, shoulders have broadened, his arms are stronger, his embodiment in the physical is stronger, he's become more warm blooded, more human coloured. Um, and her hair has grown even longer. She's um, even wiser again and stronger again. The pearls have become more prevalent. Um, their hands have um, grasped in a different way now where he claims her and supports her with his energy and, and her hand acts like an antenna pulling in the higher wisdom um, which he catches and acts on. Their mouths are in the process of being um, reworked um, because they're communicating, they're going to be communicating in a different way now in the physical world. But most of their communication is telepathic and through their third eyes. Um, they've become much softer expressions on their face and they're much more unified. Um, and there's still quite a lot to go on that, but a very fascinating thing that happened um, whilst I was doing the torso, whilst I was doing this bit. As you can see, it goes down to uh, down to here, is where he then becomes fish. And my work, I've just taken on a new role at work, and it um, they sent me this mannequin, <laughs> and um, it was just right at the point that I was doing the male torso. So it was really a very strong um, emphasis on the becoming physical becoming physical form going from obviously a two-dimensional well this is a multi-dimensional painting but in terms of physical reality it's two dimensions because it's paper to three dimensions so it was really about the um <laughs> really becoming embodied really becoming real in the physical um so this one will have some more work done on it soon and i've done a video on this one um, as it's being upgraded, bringing lots of light language through. If you would like to receive that, I'll link it below. So let's just bring the light language through for this reading for this new moon. Um, okay, I'm being reminded that in that recent video that I'll link below, um, both of them had a um, really, really huge heart activation, multidimensional heart activation. Um, but for the masculine, this was... Um, more extreme simply because he was coming from a less embodied place. Um, she's already had so many heart um, activations, heartbreaks, um, complete um, destruction of the heart, just so heartbroken from the multidimensional levels and she's repaired herself um, and mastered this. Um, but for him, um, and she can hold space for him now for this, which she needs to. She's holding his hand, but it was a bigger deal, an even bigger deal for him, even though she feels it too, because it's such a big difference as he's been working so much in the um, three-dimensional um, and the ego and the um, mental bodies to have this um, heart awakening. I'm just noticing also that this was completed in April 2009 um, before it had its upgrade. So April, um, same time of year. Under that emperor energy again, Aries energy. Um, 
just felt him become conscious of his hand um, that, uh, that is holding her hand. He just, that just came into embodiment. He just felt his hand. And I feel him kind of stepping back and seeing with new eyes, um, new vision, seeing the higher perspective, seeing the multi-dimensional, seeing the plan behind it, which is again what I've been um, receiving, channeling in for, about this new moon. Yitika ka ka ka. It's like a waking up. Akutoko Akakata hataka ha 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 ho. Iha ha paka. So I'm feeling down both of their spines and their jaws, like releasement of the jaw, which I, I think their mouths will come in soon, um, and um, an opening up down the back of the heart and the spine, and aligning. And expanding, and expanding at the horizontal axis um, and expanding to become aware of the environment of the oneness of the unity of all things aware of what's around aware of your impact on it aware of who your co-creators are aware of your counterpart and then a stepping forward and a claiming of it uh, then a shift through the sacral chakra and a recognition through the eyes, a recognition of the counterpart. Wow. <laughs> Almost like realising this through the hand, like realising that on other levels you have been holding hands all this time. And stepping back to assess, to get it, to consciously make sense of it. And then the recognition and then the stepping forward to take his place. Hmm. Okay, just feeling the energy of that anchor now. Great. Okay, so... That's the transmission for today. I hope you all can receive that um, and embody that. Um, even if um, you don't know who your twin flame is um, or your divine counterpart, we all have divine masculine feminine within us. Um, so it's the coming together of that within us also, which has to happen in order for the external union to occur. So listen to that as many times as you need to. Drink a lot of water, rest, let it integrate, let it all filter through, let the penny drop. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I really hope you have an amazing new moon. It's a very potent one of new beginnings. Blessings, everyone. <laughs>